now that we're ready to come back to our code because we understand how to remember from one pit web visit to the next what's going on we're going to look at these tests and they all relate to this logging out message or to actually doing the logging out mechanism and we want this logout to only be displayed when we're, we're logged in so we need to be able to keep track of the, the fact that we're logged in so if you uh, were very quick with your eye you may have seen on that rail security guide we had these uh, sessions idea and we can we can do something similar to here where e either we set our, our session value to some value or we can use that session value to to look up a, a user and we're going to take advantage uh, of both of those in the course of keeping track of being logged in or not. So the first thing we need to do is remember that we've been logged in. So what we're going to do is in this if case when we know that we have successfully logged in what we're going to do is we're going to do in our session variable we're going to keep track of our user ID and we're just going to set it to our, our user ID value right here. And that will then, that session variable will be accessible to us from this point on. Sometime later we're going to want to get rid of that and that's the purpose of the logout. But right now we're just going to want to keep track uh, of that session ID. So now we can do something uh, about that and what we want to be able to do is be able to check if we're, we're logged in or not and we want to be able to do this this kind of a link on every page and so where that that should go is in our views in the layout we want to do our application right here but uh, our application is pretty straightforward. What we want to do maybe is create, if this is say an HTML5 page, some sort of uh, navigation where we can have some sort of uh, li unordered list of, of links. And what we're going to want to do here, and I'll just put it in if we're logged in, let's let's do it like that then we're going to want to do something otherwise we're wanting to do something else and so if we're, we're logged in here this is the case where we're going to want to provide a link to the the logout action and so let's spell it right and that action you'll remember is the login path uh, and the method is delete and that is is good and if we're not logged in then we might want to have something like a link to our login path. and that's logins our new login path and this is uh, that method is a get because we're just trying to get that form right here. So uh, we we have this now extra piece of code right here where if we're logged in we want to provide a link to log out and if we're not logged in we want to provide a link to so allow our, our users to log in. And this is really nice because this is understandable and it's it's easy to read and it doesn't include any of the details about whether we're logged in or not that's more um, not view oriented but uh, controller-esque but we we need to access this this variable here so uh, what we're what we're going to do is we're going to create a new method called logged in so let's go ahead and uh, put it in a place that makes sense. That would be <coughs> um, at a, a helper file. And whenever we create a new controller, Rails automatically creates a, an empty helper for us. Um, since this has to do with logging in, let's go to our logins helper 
right here and we can see that we have the, the logins helper and what we're going to do is we're just going to create that new method def logged in and what we're what we want to know is whether uh, or not we're logged in and the the way that we can currently tell that is if we have a, a session variable of user ID that's that's not nil so this is the the way that we can can do that there and that's great we now have logged in but um, we need to do one other thing and then I know this is uh, kind of weird but this helper method is not um, necessarily available to our views by default because this is for our controller not for our views we want to make this available across our website so we have to edit one other um, file and that is in, um, in our controllers there's an application controller and um, what we want to do is we want to make um, that available uh, to all controllers and, and all views regardless of if we're accessing it from a login page or some other page and so what we do here is that we we tell rails that we want to to use that module to to be able to uh, use that code in in throughout our our application so the the code to do that is we say include and we say logins helper because that is the name of, of those that that module right? and we can go back and look at that helpers logins you can see right here that's the, the name of the module right here so that is is now being made available regardless of, of which web page we access that in so now we have done just a tiny little bit of code here we've we've set our session variable when we log in and then from that point on we check if our session variable has been set and so with that we can go ahead and run our tests and see what happens we we should expect that that things look very different now from a testing perspective if we were to access from the, the web page it would be a, a different story and so uh, now these all have to do with trying to access the the destroy method because the sequence of um, tests all try to log in and then log out so it means all our logging in seems to be working uh, exactly what we, like we would want but our, our logging out is, is not quite there yet. We'll follow that up in the next episode.